Well, for, for me, it's 15 years of taking divots. So just in, in 20 minutes here in the plane swing has just made an right. enormous difference. Right. Good. Down and through. Excellent. That's it. Better? Yeah, 20 minutes of doing this is remarkable difference. Very good. So in terms of the experience, I mean, you know your game better than I do. How did that feel? I, that was quite interesting. I think from my side, I've always felt that I'm able to get it around the golf course, but I've struggled with consistent contact on the ball and in particular, a lot of steep and deep divots. But I mean, in terms of your ball strike there, we just eliminated the divots. You know, and that, did that feel better when you, you know? Well, for, for me, it's 15 years of taking divots. So just in, in 20 minutes here in the plane swing to, to understand the minute changes I, I felt I needed to make has, has just made an right. enormous difference. Right. It can deliver a different result very, very quickly, but it's something that's got to be worked on. You've got to ingrain that motion. That's the thing. Good. That's great. Does that feel more extension than you're used to? Oh, very much so. Yeah. But enough through that pointed impact, and then we get good extension coming through. What we're going to do now is we're going to work on a little bit more width and we're going to work on maintaining our height. And I'll just show you how we do that inside of plane swing. Okay, Colm? Good, right. So you're standing tall, expand your chest. Good. You're tipping from the hip. That's really good. So now we've got a much better posture, much more dynamic posture. Okay? So soften that right hand a little bit. There you go. Good. And what we're looking to do now is just to work the shoulders and the arms and just nicely together and just work on that width. Good. So you can see here, if you look here now, you've got some good extension coming through, which is great. And what I want you to feel while you're doing this is as you're working back and forward is that you're clearing that left hip through impact. Okay. And that clearance is starting now. Clear that left hip. That's it. Good. And getting good extension here, right? Really important. Whereas what Colin was doing earlier was he was just hinging up a little bit too early coming through, wasn't getting as much shaft lean as I would like. Okay, good, nice and relaxed. You can feel the tension in your hands, nice and relaxed. Good. Okay, you focus on the ball. So we're working on width here. Now we hinge. Great. Keep that left shoulder coming. Good. That's great. Does that feel more extension than you're used to? Oh, very much so. Yeah. Okay. So from here now, keep that angle, but rotate the body and you'll find that, see, not a lot of shaft lean, okay, but enough through that pointed impact. And then we get good extension coming through. So this feeling for you, because you're, you're quite inside going back and you can feel here, this is probably feeling quite upright for you. Okay, good, great, okay. So you can see there from that position, your right hand sits on top, keeping that club face, facing towards the ball as you go back. Right hand still sitting on top, which is great. Now we're gonna blend the hinge, keep that left shoulder coming round. Good, nice and relaxed. I can feel you tight there. Just get nice and relaxed in the hands. Good, down and through. Excellent. It, it, it's a, you know, we all know what it's like. It's a constant job. You know, the tour players have got 24-7 um, access to their coaches via video and or they're working on the range four or five hours a day, whatever it might be. You know, we turn up quite often, maybe once, twice a week, and we're doing our shoelaces up as well first tee sometimes because we're under other sort of time pressures so to really know that you've got a swing that you can that you can trust um, I think is 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 absolutely huge 